Hello everybody and welcome to the video and channel. Now I know I mentioned in my last video that my next video was supposed to be about the frozen metals and what I recommend for them and of course everything that I've been researching about them so far uh, to introduce in that video. But I happened to come across a Reddit post right before I was actually um, going to film the video that I felt warranted my attention. Um, and was important enough for me to talk about because uh, it does kind of encompass uh, a lot of viewers' perspective on things, especially towards YouTubers, including myself. And as a consumer of YouTube videos, partially because for my own you know, personal life and what I like to watch on top of being a YouTuber myself, I'm constantly looking for ways to make my videos better on top of also wanting to understand my community as much as possible so I can deliver you guys the content that you want to see or need to hear. Now, just a quick note before I get into the topic of this video, which I'm all sure you're curious about because you clicked on it based on the thumbnail and the title. But I just want to make sure I get across real quick that uh, at no point in this video am I ever trying to bash on anybody um, or have any ill int intentions towards anybody. I am simply just describing things from A as a Kingdom Hearts Union Cross YouTuber myself, how I see things as well as B, I also want to help communicate uh, to everyone watching exactly what type of benefits and influences that we as YouTubers actually have in the community or more importantly, as will be what the today's topic is talking about, how we directly communicate to important members of the community, such as, for example, the employees of the Union Cross representative team, such as Glacy, for example, how we exactly go about doing that, what we do and don't have uh, privilege, privileges for and such. So I just want to quickly go over that um, because I felt like it was important enough for me to make sure everyone is on the same page uh, act of what actually happens because I know that there is a bit of a kind of a assumption or a viewpoint among YouTubers uh, that you, YouTubers will get the special treatment just because they have tons of followers and stuff like that. They have a bunch of fluence. They're basically almost like little mini celebrity celebrities on the internet in, in some ways. Okay. So I just wanted to make sure I get across in this video what benefits we actually have compared to what people think we have and just kind of enlighten some misinformation or assumptions that people might have. But first of all, the primary reason why I'm making this video is because of this Reddit post right here posted by channel Mary about seven 17 hours ago. The Reddit post itself doesn't have that many upvotes at all whatsoever. It's practically non-existent at the moment, but it has a lot of people uh, talking about it in the comments section. One person by the name of Magnify says that for those of us with a natural skepticism for YouTube clickbait, please explain why he's asking and how it would be any more effective than our usual methods of communication up to including this subreddit itself. Their comment got 36 upvotes. Another user by the name of Axel for the win with 24 points of upvotes posted that I'll be honest, I'm not sure how the reps from Square Enix that are supposed to be on the subreddit can't see what is wrong with the game. I'm not sure one of the biggest whales in the game can understand what a free to play situation really is. I would have felt better if it was someone like Damo, Damien, Damo279 in case you're not aware, who is exclusively free to play and knows what the game is for them. And I can say that I find it a bit insulting that all of our comments means nothing because we are not quote unquote content creators. So what? People giving their insight on this sub means nothing if you don't have thousands of subscribers. Shake my head. Another person by the name of KHUX Lex with the 15 points of upvotes says that we have a feedback section in the Union Cross support site. We have a survey a while ago. Reddit is full of nice posts talking about the problems the game has. And it seems all that information is not enough. And now the solutions are the Union Cross YouTubers. Even when some of them applauded some of the most unpopular decisions the game received. Can't wait to see the result of this experiment. All in all, it's quite clear from the comment section of this post that a lot of people don't necessarily like this idea, 
uh, especially when the title of the video is called Time for Us Content Creators to Help Make Union Cross Fun Again. Whether loss prediction means it or not, the title of this video does imply the feeling as if that only us content creators can help make the game fun um, and it's not really as fun any any other time. Even on a personal note for myself, I found it a little bit cringy when I first saw this pop up in my notifications because of the fact that the game actually has elements that are actually genuinely fun. Um, on top of the fact that a large reason why a lot of uh, players continue to play the game, even if they don't exactly enjoy the state of the game, is because they enjoy having fun with their party members or with their friends, if they happen to have like actual friends in their party. So the notion that only we content creators can help make the game fun, uh, at least to me, comes across as a little tone deaf towards the actual players for the game. Considering the fact that, if anything, us content creators are more meant to help add to the experience of the game, or in some cases like myself or other channels like uh, Damien or Smelly Octopus, help serve as news sources uh, for people who may not be as up to date with the game or keep as much track compared to us. Now, part of the reason why I made this video was partially because of the fact that I did feel the need to kind of at least defend myself and state that I had no part of this video or even knew he was gonna make this video at any point in time. And in no way does anything that Lost Predictions or any other content creator for that matter, uh, unless I expressly state it, hold any sort of representation towards my own opinions or ideas, let alone the community itself or the followers for us content creators, uh, let alone anybody else who helps contribute to the Union Cross community. Now, a large part of why I'm making this video is because I want to address some of the concerns that I feel is being mentioned uh, throughout these comments, okay? Such as the notion that, as noted by Axel, and can I say that I find it a bit insulting that all our comments mean nothing because we are not content creators. First of all, I want to let you guys know that everybody has equal access to talking directly to people such as Glacy and the Union Cross representative team, okay? And that you guys have just as much access, literally equals access to communicating with them as we content creators do as well. In terms of anything such as special treatment in any way, shape or form, uh, in terms of communication specifically, we don't receive anything extra compared to anything else that anybody else would hear. So any new information that you guys hear for the first time is also new information that we've heard for the first time as well. The only difference is that we actually make videos about it, portraying it to the larger public, especially for those of us who don't take the time to actually follow the actual direct sources of these news infos uh, themselves, such as even the actual official Union Cross Twitter page for example not everyone has a twitter not everyone wants to follow the official union cross twitter page uh, so in terms of actual news and content we are no different than anybody else and in the case that we do on maybe some rare occurrence uh, that we do actually get some information ahead of anybody else uh, there's a very strong likelihood that you'll be put under limitations set by the company itself under question uh, as well as a very good chance that you might even happen to sign something such as like a non-disclosure agreement or an nda so even if for whatever reason we do have prior access to any sort of information that the general public is not aware of, chances are even if we knew about it, we would not be able to say anything about it. In which case that also kind of just makes the whole point of anything of this sort of where, um, 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 uh, in which case that kind of defeats the whole notion of, um, uh, in which um, in which case that kind of defeats the whole notion of trying to derive any sort of uh, special communication access to the gaming company kind of mute because of the fact that chances are even if you are told that information in advance chances are you're going to have legally binded limitations set on you uh, to prevent you from really saying anything that's new to the public in the first place. Uh, so the whole notion is kind of pointless. For anybody wondering, you can directly contact 
uh, Glacy on Discord, as well as the other members of the Square Enix Union Cross uh, team on Discord. And I'll be leaving a link to the actual Discord server down below in case you wish to check that out. But this is Glacy's Discord username. She has promoted in the past her Discord and Twitter uh, multiple times on her Twitter feeds as well as through uh, Reddit forums and such. So, so it's not exactly a secret on how to contact these people. I do want to mention real quick, though, that Glacy has mentioned in previous streams that her Twitter is a personal account and to only contact her on that account only if you absolutely need to. Otherwise, you should try to contact her or anybody else on the Square Enix team, uh, either through Reddit, Discord, or through the official uh, accounts on Twitter as well. Now, in terms of Magni Fi's comment asking to explain what he's asking and how it would be any more effective than our usual methods of communication up to including this subreddit itself, uh, I do want to let you guys know, and we've actually had some experience with this in the past on this channel as well. For those of you that have been within the community for a while, you probably know what I'm talking about uh, because of the Twitter raids that we had done in the past. But I do just want to point out that Magnify right here is totally correct on the notion that any of the social media accounts and giving feedback on there, including Discord and Reddit, are completely valid ways to get your communication across. And if anything, it's actually more effective to actually come together as a group to complain about a specific topic, which we've done over and over again throughout the almost three years that the game has been out for when large issues happen, which is also the same exact reason why the Twitter raids we did in the past were uh, so successful, is because of the fact we were all able to come together collectively and speak about the same topic at the same time. And when we do that as a community, our voices are very loud and very clear. Uh, and this is also the same exact reason why any notion of the sort of trying to rely on a singular uh, person, YouTuber for that matter, um, or entity is not nearly as successful because it doesn't nearly create as much noise compared to uh, if everyone in the community were to basically shout <laughs> about it. And I'm not even saying this from an outsider's point of view either. Uh, I actually did this uh, at one point in the past as well when I near when I first started the channel when I had less than even 1,000 subscribers yet. Uh, so ultimately, what I learned in the beginning stages of creating my channel, especially through all the experiences that I had experienced myself in the past, as well as an outsider looking in, it is much more effective for us as a community to come together to do things together as a community and to uh, send a message to Square Enix uh, than it is to actually send in feedback or try to rely on a single entity that is not actually the source itself, which would be Square Enix this time. One last thing that I want to mention real quick before I end this video has to do with the fact of this notion that basically every Union Cross YouTuber, no matter what who you are, basically is like stealing from someone else in some way, shape or form. Um, I've had this said about me as well, uh, as well as I've been seeing it seen about basically every single Union Cross YouTuber. Now, I do agree that stealing other people's ideas and trying to play it off as if it's your own is absolutely terrible because I am a firm believer in giving credit where credit is due. Even if you may not like the source of where the credit is from, I still believe that credit is due where it's due. If your channel is in any way, shape, or form trying to be any sort of kind of newsy type of channel, I personally believe it is almost like a reporter's kind of code of conduct to do so, um, and that it is morally wrong if you do not. But at the very least, in terms of actual legitimate news itself, outside of individual people's ideas and such, I do want to quickly iterate, though, that everyone pretty much has the same exact access to the same news that we present on our channels as everybody else. And when I say news, I mean legitimately like when we present new medals and stuff like that. I know for myself, at least, I actually show the actual sources themselves in my video, or at least I make an effort to do so when I can as much as possible. And one of them is simply just from the actual in-game notices themselves, which you can actually visit on a web browser. Right here, I even have uh, the Japanese notices pulled up on my web browser. And the thing is, even if you use like Google Translate to translate to whatever uh, language that you speak in, 
to figure out what's happening in the JP version of the game. After a little bit of time of practice, it actually becomes fairly easy to understand what the maybe mangled up version of the Google Translator is actually trying to say in terms of like your actual language's translations. So even this, for example, this is the new Elsa medal. Uh, and even right here is the Google translated version of the Japanese version of the uh, description for the metal it will say weird things like stage and like darkness <laughs> and enemy creation and stuff like that once you start looking at this long enough it's actually fairly easy to decipher what exactly this is talking about uh, like even right here where it says darkness that's referring to reverse when it says enemy creation is usually talking about general defense down uh, when it says belonging it's usually just talking about whatever that attribute is uh, continuous tax is the number of hits that the metal does. It's actually really easy to actually decipher what a lot of these metals mean, even with the jumbled up version of Google Translate. And even a lot of the popular websites, such as like KH Insider, for example, do the exact same thing that even us YouTubers do in terms of deciphering uh, metal description and stuff. Pretty much anything else that is newsworthy pretty much comes directly from the games themselves or from the company themselves uh, on their official accounts on social media. So anything of this notion of stealing content where content is more for the most part going to be mostly news related, uh, it's kind of hard to steal that when everyone's getting their information from the same exact sources. The only thing that I would actually consider as stealing is if someone else actually took an idea from someone else without giving credit to that person. That's the only thing that I have big issues with especially because of the fact of how many hours I know that people like me or Rosie or Damien or Roboloid and such or Rio Gassen actually do in order to provide the information that we do for you guys. Uh, and typically it is very easy to identify when people are actually stealing these type of ideas because majority of the time from the people that I will look at online, uh, whether it be through a forum post or just through a YouTube video, it is very obvious to us uh, when they're taking information and not crediting it just because of the fact that a lot of that information the, or the ideas I should say are derived from the research that we have done ourselves. And the thing is, many people are not actually taking the time or effort to actually do that research. Uh, and that's where the conflict starts to arise. Uh, now, just to make sure I clarify this, but I am not saying whatsoever that I agree nor disagree about lost predictions being built off stolen ideas and such from other YouTubers and contributors and stuff. Nor am I saying this about any specific other YouTuber at all either. I'm just saying what my personal values are as a content creator myself, as well as one of those people who is trying to actually contribute to the community through like my website and such. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. And again, I apologize for not having the frozen video up. I promise I will try my best to get it up tomorrow. But I did feel the need to make this video just because of the fact of how uh, how much this hit home just a little bit on top of the fact that I have been seeing this notion towards uh, YouTube influencers like myself, especially when there may not even be any solid grounds towards these claims or statements or assumptions or ideas. So at the very least, I just wanted to try and do what I can to clear the air as much as possible. Uh, if there's anything else that you guys would like to know in terms of like the YouTube side of things or, or anything that I may specifically do as a YouTuber or may have access to, you guys are more than welcome to ask me at any time on my social media or on my Discord uh, or even on my live stream. Not only because of the fact that I want to just try and be as transparent as possible with you guys, but it's also because of the fact of how much of a diehard Kingdom Hearts fan I am. Uh, if you happen to see my original Frozen trailer video, you see like I'm breaking down crying at this, <laughs> just watching a trailer. But it also partially has to do with the fact that it helps make me feel better about things as a whole. Uh, on top of the fact that even if I wanted to, uh, I wouldn't be able to just because there's a lot of smart people out there. And I wouldn't exactly consider myself a good liar. <laughs> Uh, so even if I even wanted to, uh, it wouldn't work out well for me or let alone anybody else. But on that, that was it for today, guys. I hope this video was enlightening for you. Uh, and I would love to hear anything you guys have to say in the comment section down below. And I'll try to do my best to uh, address any concerns you have. But other than that, 
My name is Brian from Kingdom Martin Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.